good morning students the topic for today's class is the secret of the machines okay and uh, this poem tells about the technology and automation of the machines and how they are produced and uh, what kind of treatment is given to them how they serve humanity and uh, what is their capability and in the end it tells us that okay they are not equivalent to human brain okay they are not equivalent to human brain and talking about the poet the name of the poet is rudyard kipling he was born in the year uh, 1865 okay in mumbai on december 30th in india he was educated in england but he returned to india in 1882 and then he married later and he wrote a book which is called as the jungle book okay and he became successful and he was also a nobel prize recipient for literature in the year 1907 and he passed away in the year 1936 and uh, let's have a reading of the poem then we'll go ahead okay what does it say here we were taken from the ore bed and the mine we were melted in the furnace and the pit we were cast and wrought and hammered to design we were cut and filed and tooled and aged to fit some water coal and oil is all we ask and a thousandth of an inch to give us play and now if you will set us to our task we will serve you Four and twenty hours a day. We can pull and haul and push and lift and drive. We can paint and plow and weave and heat and light. We can run and race and swim and fly and dive. We can see and hear and count and read and write. But remember, please, the law by which we live. we are not built to comprehend a lie we can neither love nor pity nor forgive if you make us slip in handling us you die though our smoke may hide the heaven from your eyes it will vanish and the stars will shine again because for all our power and weight and size we are nothing more than children of your brain okay this is what's given in the book okay. can you i think uh, you can understand it these are all in very simple words. okay and now let's uh, look at the description of the first line what it is given okay you can put the poem into three parts okay the poem can be divided into three parts now the first one okay in the first part it tells us the evolution of machines okay it tells us the evolution of machines and the privileges given to mankind okay and uh, that's described there then the second part deals with all the extraordinary work machines are capable of doing okay then the third part talks about the dangers humans are exposed to as a result of this machinery is it clear to you okay and now talking about this looking at the first stanza we were taken from the ore bed and the mine we were melted in the furnace and the pit we were cast and wrought and hammered to design we were cut and filed and tooled and aged to use look at the first line there it is clearly given we were taken from the ore bed and the mine okay what does he tell here the poet informs about how the machines are produced okay and what kind of treatment they need the machines tell us that they were taken from the ore bed and they are mined in the furnace they are cast in the pit they are beaten out of shape by hammering they are cut and filed then they are tooled and gauged to fit is it clear 
Now looking at the next uh, stanza. What is he tell here? Some water, coal and oil is all we ask. And a thousand of an inch to give us play. And now if you set us to our task, we will serve you four and twenty hours a day. What does he tell here? The machine asks only for some water, coal and oil. It takes only a fraction of a thousand to make them work. Okay. If we set them on task, okay, if you are given a task, they will serve us 24 hours a day. They will serve us 24 hours a day. Then look at the next one. What are the works they do? We can pull and haul and push and lift and drive. We can print and flow and weave and heat and light. We can run and race and swim and fly and dive. We can see and hear and count and read and write. These are all mm, human characters, isn't it? Or not all these uh, actions can be done by humans. And so these missions are also able to do all this. What does it say here? In this stanza, the poet says that the missions can do all sorts of works. Yes, what are the works? They can pull, they can drag, they can push, they can lift, okay. they can drive, they can print, they can flow, they can weave, heat and light. What else they can do? They can also run, they can race, they can swim, fly and fly. They can also see, hear, count, read and write. All these tasks were done earlier by the humans, isn't it? Now the machines have made their work easier. Whatever was done by the humans are now done by the machines. And so they have made their work very easier. Now coming back, what does he say there? But remember please the law by which we live. We are not built to comprehend or lie. We can neither love and pity nor forget. If you make a slip in handling us, you die. See, it tells us clearly, but we have to remember the law by which they live. Machines are not built to grasp a right. They have no emotions or feelings. That's true, isn't it? They don't pity anyone or they don't forgive. If you make a slight mistake in handling them, what will happen? We might even die. Okay? If we make a mistake in handling them, we might is it clear? Now looking at the last stanza, what does he tell here? See, though our smoke may hide the heavens from your eyes, it will vanish and the stars will shine again. Because for all our power and weight and size, we are nothing more than children of your brain. What is informed here? Machine, machines, they are not perfect at all and nature always wins them. Okay? They aren't miraculous creations when we compare it with the creations of the human brain. Okay? They are nothing more than the creations of the human brain. Okay? This is all about this poem. And what is the theme? It is the importance of machines in our life. Okay? It is the importance of machines in our life. Machines make many things, okay? They make our work easier and they facilitate the work of the humans. However, wrong handling the machines, it is very dangerous. Okay? It is very dangerous. And machines cannot replace human beings. Clear? And talking about the poetic devices here, coming back to page number 151 talking about the poetic devices look at this line we can hear and uh, we can see and hear and count and read and write okay this line talks about imagery okay it explains the multitask of the machines that could be completed by the machines okay it tells us how feasible it is clear See, the example explains to us many of the tasks that could be completed by the machines. 
and uh, talking about personification look at this line we can pull and haul and push and lift and drive what is personification it talks about the human characters that is attributes isn't it in which a thing an idea or an animal is given human attributes we can pull yes of course human beings can do all these things then talking about hyperbole what is that hyperbole it is exaggeration okay we are greater than the peoples and the kings is it true no but uh, the poet says that the machines express that they are greater than the people and the kings then also names that is repetition of two or more vowel sounds okay all we us okay all the vowels then simile it is a comparison greater than the people of the kings here it is a comparison which is made okay and so these are the poetic devices which are there in this book and uh, one or two are there look at this alliteration there what is alliteration you all know it is a repetition of two or more consonant sounds you see you can print and flow and weave and heat and light okay the consonant sounds are repeated there then connotation suggests beyond what it expresses though our smoke may hide the heavens is it possible no but look at the expression there and so that line is for repetition and so these are the figures of speech which are given in your text and so carefully go through the figures of speech and try to understand the book is it clear to you all okay now let's have a quick uh, a recap of what we have learned the poem tells us about the problems okay the modern technology and automation it uh, talks about uh, how machines are produced and what kind of treatment they need and uh, how the machines serve uh, humanity and although machines are uh, useful okay although machines are useful sometimes they can lead to even great disasters if they aren't used in a proper way or in a right way and machines are emotionless they don't have emotions they don't have feelings and if you make a simple mistake in handling the machine what will happen you might even die machines are not perfect after all and nature always wins over they are not miraculous creations they are nothing more than the creations of the human okay this is all which is uh, given there in this i hope you could have understood it okay what is the machine ask us to remember it tells us that they are operated according to the laws okay what laws it is laws of physics okay do machines purposely harm us do they harm us no they don't have feelings they don't have emotions but how never purposely they do it but if we are careless in handling them okay we might lose our life is it clear we might lose our life they can either love nor pity nor forgive isn't it what is a figure of speech there it is personification it is personification then we are nothing more than the children of your brain this line is also personification okay and though our smoke may hide the heavens from your eyes that is metaphor okay that is metaphor okay i hope you will be very clear with the content of this poem okay who does we refer to in the first stanza is it the human beings or the machines it is the machines then uh, who are the speakers and listeners of this uh, who who is speaking here the machines are all speaking here and who are the listeners the human beings are the listeners okay and so please go through the poem okay it is a memory poem and so try to learn it by memory is it clear to you children try to learn the poem immediately first go through the poem try to understand then learn it by memory is it clear to you all i think we can end up this thank you